Hey ladies and gents, it's Zem back, and we are doing the M20. Well, what is this? Well, right currently now, uh, this is being offered in a big starter bundle with the F4U1. I will do a review on the F4U1 later on, uh, and all that happy horse shit. So, um, I'm not sure why this is the big starter bundle. Apparently you get 2,000 gold, 30 days of premium, uh, and I believe this is only on the North American server. Uh, However, on the EU server, they do have the Axis Aviation Bundle and the Allies Aviation Bundle. I have did reviews on these two aircraft, and I did review on the uh, P-40M-105, and I have did a review on the uh, Mustang 1A. So if you really are interested in these aircraft, uh, go look uh, at the YouTube page, and you'll find reviews on all four of these planes. So, let's get back to this bunch, the M-20. Uh, what is it? Well, in the M20 in 1940, the, the Luftwaffe was doing a hell of a bang-up job of bombing the shit out of Britain. And the uh, Ministry of Defense was worried that there was a possibility that uh, the bombing would disrupt the production of uh, Spitfires and Hurricanes. So, what they asked the Miles uh, Design Bureau to was design an aircraft that would be easy to build uh, with available parts and materials. So, uh, nine weeks later, they flew the prot prototype in 1940. This aircraft was made out of, uh, entirely out of wood. Uh, did not have retractable uh, landing gear, did not have hydraulics. Uh, very simple, very cost-efficient uh, fighter. This was essentially an emergency fighter uh, for what was going on. However, there was a couple of interesting things with this uh, aircraft that when they built it. Being that it was considered an emergency fighter, it had to be quick to build uh, and, qu and easy to maintain. So what they did was they took what they called power eggs. And this was kind of a design a feature that they used on the Lancaster, uh, the heavy bombers. Uh, they took this engine, and this is an all-contained engine in one assembly. Uh, easy to take off, easy to put back on and change out engines. Uh, so this modular design... Uh, was one that I think, believe, one of the first used on uh, fighter aircraft. It was used, of course, like I said, in the bombers, uh, and now it's going to be used in this fighter. Uh, once again, all made out of wood. Uh, it carried, uh, there was only two prototypes built, but one of them carried 12 303 machine guns. It's not what we have in game, uh, but that's what it was intended to carry uh, with almost 5,000 pounds, 5,000 rounds of ammunition. Now, when they finally got this up in prototype stage and started running through its trials, they found out that it was its performance fell directly between the Hurricane and the Spitfire. It wasn't quite as maneuverable uh, and as fast as the Spitfire, but it was better than the Hurricane too. So, and even, and, and, and in game, just like in real life, uh, this plane flies directly almost between the Hurricane 2 and the Spitfire 1. Hurricane 1 has, of course, better armament uh, and bombs and rockets and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the M20 has better maneuverability and better altitude performance. So, yeah, the M20 is a little bit closer, more toward the Spitfire 1 than it is the Hurricane. So that kind of gives you an idea where it falls in the line uh, with the uh, British aircraft. Two prototypes built, uh, one eventually crashed and the other one was just simply tore up. Uh, the ministry at the time finally came to the realization that they were not not going to uh, lose production of the Spitfire and the Hurricane, uh, so they decided not to take this aircraft. So, yeah, uh, kind of an interesting little burp in uh, World War II history, uh, but that's where, how we end up with the uh, M20. What do we have in game? Um, well, we have uh, eight 303s. Uh, and a Merlin engine, uh, not too shabby. Uh, this aircraft is a great little point defense fighter. Uh, I always use the word point defense fighter. Uh, it has more to do with the fact of that it's, it does not have great altitude. It does not have great speed. However, in a furball or in the merge where you get a bunch of aircraft in a, in a confined area, uh, that's where this plane really shines, especially with the, the A303s. Uh, relatively short distance, 450 meters, is about your farthest out you're going to start uh, getting uh, decent shots on stuff. Uh, under 300 meters is where this thing really kind of uh, comes into its own. 
So uh, air defense fighters, uh, other light fighters that are down low, uh, and of course GAs, that's what's bread and butter for this aircraft. Uh, it just rips through that stuff. I'm going to tell you right now, I'll give this a one thumbs up. It's not a bad, it's not a meh aircraft, and it's certainly not a thumbs down kind of aircraft, but it just lacks a little bit uh, for, a, for a two thumbs up. You know, so yeah, low altitude, decent maneuverability, uh, not great speed. Um, you know, this is this this is this is what it is. If you've flown the Spitfire, it flies very similar to the Spitfire, of course, without the cannons. Probably closer to more like the Spitfire 1A uh, type of gameplay. Oh, what do I got on it? We well, have improved reflector sight one, lightweight airframe, and control service airframe. Trying to get the maneuverability up to this thing. Uh, like I said, without any altitude performance and out without any real speed, uh, this thing really has to rely on kind of on its maneuverability. Of course, it's not quite as maneuverable as a Yak-1 or a Zero, but it's good enough. Improved Reflector Sight 1 to kind of tame that uh, A303s because this is a prey and spray fire hose aircraft, uh, and that's what it does. Pilot skills, once again, running. Aerodynamics expert and probably, probably going to go with some sort of uh, marksman uh, after that white. Like I said, try to get this dispersion down a little bit more, uh, especially when it's firing off the wings. Um... Yeah, uh, one thumb up. Uh, if you don't like these kind of fighters, you're, you're not going to like this aircraft. Uh, this is a 1,500 meter and below kind of aircraft that you're going to be flying. Um, you know, mix it up with uh, other light fighters. Uh, take care of GAs, that kind of thing. This does not do well above 2,000 meters. Uh, it becomes a slow fat duck, and uh, you know how people don't like. It. So if you're listening, to CAD, don't buy this. You're not going to like it. It's not a BF 109. <laughs> It's better than the Hurricane 2 uh, slaughter. <laughs> so, uh, with that said, I'm going to bring up the gameplay for you guys to check it out. Alright guys, back with the first game in the M20. And we got... Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this this is where this plane does well. Uh, small, relatively short distances between caps. And we have a center objective. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, this thing it does. This is this is what this plane does really well. So boost on up to about 1,300 meters. Like I said, 1,500 meters. You really don't want to get much more than that with this aircraft. I mean, yeah, it can. Like I said, it'll do 2,000 meters. Uh, in fact, in one of the videos I just went and shot a bunch of a couple of bombers down with it. However, it's below that 1,500 meters that this thing really does uh, does the work. Pulling around on the boomerang, uh, all eight 303s are hitting. Um, short range uh, guns on this thing. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, 450 meters is its outside range. Uh, those are going to be kind of iffy. Uh, what you need to be down is under 300 meters uh, to really get the uh, A303s uh, working for you. However, with this maneuverability, you can get in around on these aircraft uh, and do quite a bit. Uh, I'm not saying to use universal, but if you use universal on this aircraft, I didn't do that in these videos. Uh, but to be more effective, putting Universal on these 8303s uh, will literally destroy modules and set things on fire on a regular basis. Uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, but since I don't usually use Universal too often, uh, but it's just a suggestion for possible equipment. Um, with that many machine guns firing, uh, yeah, the, it, it would pick up uh, uh, lots of critical damage and lots of fires. Uh, pick up the JU-87G coming through here. Yeah, slowly but surely. Uh, even the JU-87G kind of can pull away from this thing a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, it does not do well if you have to chase anything because you're going to get fucked. Uh, it, just, it just does not have the legs uh, to chase things down. Same way with moving around a lot on the map. If you fly, fly around with this a lot on the map, you're not going to be, you're not going to enjoy it because it just doesn't have the speed uh, to move around too much. Pick up the P-40 coming through here. He goes in the vertical and then gives me his wings. Uh, and we're going to see if we can finish him off quick here. He's pulling pretty hard, but he's after uh, that other fighter. Let's me get in around him behind him and run through him pretty quickly. Uh, with the 8303s, it does well against light fighters. It does okay against heavy fighters. Uh, it just doesn't have the altitude or speed to get up there to deal with them. Uh, and it does a pretty decent job against the IL-2s. 
Uh, any light, any heavy fighter makes a pass on you, you're going to have a, just a matter of a few seconds to get shells on him before he's going to be out of your range uh, with these 450, uh, with the 450 range on this gun. So this gun, this 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 plane does well, uh, short range, uh, and when you can get in behind players, uh, like for example this IL-2, that lets me uh, that that I'm able to really, really let those th those A303s work uh, his HP down slowly but surely. I'm going to get uh, Sergeant J. Uh, almost got, yep, there we go. Turn the objective a little bit further into the blue. Still sitting about halfway here. Got one more. One more GA. We've gained air superiority. Uh, yeah, it seemed like it was going to be pretty quick here. Pull out here on the JU-87G. And you notice, like I said, I said about 350 meters, but once I said, once you get down around this 250 260 meters, that's when you start seeing a lot of the big numbers come off. All 8303s are hitting. Uh, yeah, and it rips through. It rips through uh, high HP targets relatively quickly. Pick up the IL-2 as he goes through. Uh, come on, buddy. We're going to get you one way or another. Uh, he drops his bomb. And we're sitting, not sitting real tight here on the center air, air, air field. Uh, their GAs did a nice job of uh, uh, flipping it back and forth on us. So, finish off him. I got an XP44 coming up here. Mad Cannon Fire. Uh, he got wrecked. And what we got left coming up here? We got uh, KI-43-2. Let's see if we can get some shells into him. Uh, 440. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Uh, about, like I said, about 450 meters is just too far to be to get a real um, a real good chunk of health taken off him. Pick up the boomerang. And you can see, like I said, 240 kilometers an hour, 1,000 meters. Um, it just kind of floats. It just does not have the speed or altitude performance to catch this stuff. So I'm going to try one more time with the boomerang. They almost got him dead. I'm just throwing shit out there and saying, maybe I'll get plucky and pick up the kill or some damage, neither and or. So... We're sitting at 354 to 18. Uh, yeah, it's not going well for the Horm team. Pick up Olaf and the XFL-1. Uh, he went into the vertical to chase the boomerang. And he's got a boomerang and a tail on his tail. But let's see, let's flip off. Let's let's knock out the fighter first before we worked about the GA. XFL-1's flying through. Come on, come on, come on, buddy, buddy. Got to get down to that 400. There we go. Pick him up about 440 meters. Oh, shit. Round he goes. Start working him a little bit harder. Finish him off. And now I can drop down here and start dealing with the IL-2. We're sitting at 400. Game over. Good game. And I got a couple more for you guys to check out. So, hang on. Alright, guys. Back with the second game in the M20. <sighs> what can I say? sitting here enjoying the shitty weather uh, it's been blizzarding raining snowing and now I'm playing video games um took her up to about 2,000 meters 1,800 2,000 meters uh, yeah so slow boost on up here like I said 2,000 meters is about as fucking high as you want to get with this thing kind of anticipation for what I'm gonna run into here unfortunately getting up this high also means that it's not exactly the fastest. Stall speed is about 120, uh, so yeah, it does pretty well. And I thought for some amusement here, I was going to go inverted. Maybe I would find the, the uh, Russian MiG pilot, but didn't happen. So we're going to fly upside down for a short amount of distance here <laughs> until I find something to shoot at. Down we go. Uh, pick up the bullfighter coming through. Got both of them up here. Uh, we're going to be looking here. I'm not terribly sure what the bullfighter is up to. What is he doing? Is he going to make a pass at me? First I thought maybe he was going to ignore me and go off, but no. He decides t he's going to try to take a, take a run on me. But drop down, find the other bullfighter coming through. They've already picked up one objective. Uh, and now I'm going to be right on here on the bullfighter's tail here. Under my 300 meters, so this is where this thing, like I said, really does well. Pick up the kill on the bullfighter. Uh, pick up the next boomerang coming in here. Start putting some shells into him. Slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, back around on his tail. 
so much lead flying out of this gun. <laughs> Pick up my second kill. Uh, now I got the two boomerangs down below. Uh, one's getting followed pretty hard here. And here comes the other bo boomerang through here. See if I can pick him up. Ah, quite get all of him. Uh, around we go. Great, like I said, man maneuverabilities on par with the uh, Spitfire one. Uh, still relatively easy. Apparently, somewhere along the lines, one of my guys died uh, and kind of left me hanging here. So, pick up the next boomerang coming through here. And they already finished the objective. Doom, get my third kill. And on we go. Uh, the center is currently being overrun by red players, so I'm not going to even attempt it. Well, let's see here. We've got the A6M3. That's an aircraft I really don't want to go head-to-head -head with. Uh, but uh, Tomahawk doesn't have a problem with it. <laughs> and he lives! And he lives! So, back on the A6M3. He's on fire. Oh, there we go. Finish him off. Let's see if we can get him all. Yep, there we go. Finish him off. And now I'm almost to the other objective. And you've noticed, like I said, how slow this thing is. Uh, so flying <laughs> long distances with it kind of sucks. So I dropped down. I got an IL-2 over here. Apparently he got... can't figure out how to get over the mountain. Uh, I'm going to see if I can drop down here and pick up a first easy kill on him. Well, easy what I thought. Come back in here. Start nailing him with the 303s. Down on about that 200, and that's about the time I go, oh, 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 oh. You get a little too carried away, and you try to go up, and he just catch the ass end of his tail. Yes, people, I make mistakes. <sighs> Probably more often than I should, but hey, you know what? It's a video game. So, spawn back in again. Yeah, there we go. And now it's time to roll. They're up 3 to 2 right now, and I'm not really interested in going back to that center objective. There's still a little too many planes there. However, I got three blue planes over this objective. And it's about, uh, looks like to be about one kill down. So, really all I need is two kills to turn this objective. So, back out of the airbase. Nose are down. Boost as I go. Pick up about 500 kilometers an hour. And, ah, there's my island too, buddy. I'll get you this time. Pulling around on the hill. Let's see if I don't, make sure I don't hit the side of the hill. <laughs> and put a bunch of shells into him, finish him off, and we got one more kill to go before we pick up this objective. The center is still being kind of fought over here. They still have a, kind of an advantage there in the center, uh, so I'm not going to even bother. Uh, I got something above me. Not sure what it is, but I just need one kill here. Uh, do not get the other one, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Pull back around, pick up the Falk Wolf. And see if I can put a few shells into him. He's already out of range. Uh, but I do pick up the boomerang coming down. And this one I know for sure, whether he gets outside the ring or not, uh, all I have to do is kill him uh, to turn this objective. So pick him up, coming through. Yeah, there we go. Nail him. We're up 3-2 uh, to two now, finally. Uh, unfortunately, we have some contested uh, objectives yet. Uh, and they're doing a pretty nice job on the one next to uh, the respawn. However, it's time to get serious, uh, and I'm going to go back to center here. Either, hopefully, they start knocking down some planes, or possibly they leave. <laughs> Either and or. So I got a boomerang, and we got a A6M3. And, of course, we have um, the uh, defense bots. So, boost up here. Let's see if I can pick up some uh, help here for the... Uh, lone fighter fighting off the side here. Got the BF-109E. He wants to make a pass head-to-head. -head. Yeah, put a couple shells into him. Flip over fast on his tail. See if we can pick him up quick. That's about the time I notice I'm starting to get the shit shot out of me. And it's amazing how all of a sudden those boomerangs um, bots decide that they need to shoot your shit. Logan, I mean, that's pretty sad right there when the boomerang can boost out of your range. <laughs> but... You know what? He turned around because he wanted to try it again, which is fine. So, put a couple shells into the boomerang. Almost got him dead. See if we can finish him off here before I get uh, rammed, YOLO'd by uh, whatever that was. Round we go. Coming up here. Ah, there we go. Pick up the boomerang. And like I said, this, when I was talking about earlier in the garage, uh, the point defense fighter, uh, it does the best in a fur ball like this where there's lots of planes close to shoot at and you don't have to travel far. 
pick up the second objective, third objective actually, and it's not looking too shabby now. We're up 3-2. We're still down almost 100 points, uh, but hey, we, not everything is the way you want it to be. A6M3 is after the BF-109. Um, yeah, look at that bot go. Staying with the BF-109 in a climb. Wow, that's what I love about bots. So now I'm just kind of reaching out there. Hopefully, maybe, come on, see if I can start hitting a few shells on him. I'm kind of hoping that if he gets hit a few times, he might decide to say, you know, fuck it, I'm not going to go after BF-109. But he doesn't. He actually does stay on his tail. So I'm just going to start throwing love, lots of lead out there. Hopefully, I'm going to hit up one of his uh, engine module or wing or something like that and see if I can get him off that BF-109E. BF he is going like crazy. Looked around, looked around. Oh, there he comes back through. Tomahawk 2. Uh, I'm going to stick on his tail because I know he can't get away. Um, Yang. Oh, Yang. Yang is Yang is all over the place here. He goes into the vertical. Gives me his wings. I uh, love that. Finish him off. We're sitting at 3-2. We're closing the gap slowly but surely. 519 to 580. And that's about time to be F-110E. Uh, comes through here. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Uh, with this much lead getting pumped out, though, you got to hit something. Um, I do have a little bit of help here, though, so I'm not going to chase him uh, anymore. I'm going to try to get back over here and see if I can pick up some more kills and see if I can seal this deal and out the squall lines down. So they got a boomer. they got a Spitfire on the other side that's already racked up 9,000 combat points. Um, ooh, this is going to be fun. Uh, we got the we got Logan in the boomerang. We got another light fighter up top, and uh, he picks up his first kill. All right, boomerang, where are you going? He's going to go into the vertical. This is what I like. That means he's going to be losing airspeed, and I'm catching him. Pick up the boomerang. Yeah, there we go. Finish him off, and now I got three planes left. I got a Falkwolf. A GA and a Spitfire. So, I see the Spitfire is coming in from the other direction, the Pox. Uh, he is currently playing with the Yak-1. That's not an easy target to deal with. I don't care what you say, Slaughter. The Yak-1's a good plane. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't. The Spitfire 1 can outturn a Yak-1. So they get into a nice a little bit of a turn fight here that lets me have the Spitfire 1 uh, and his wings. He also turns back into it so I get even more wing. Uh, and almost finish him off, uh, and now, yeah, back onto his tail, finish off the Spitfire 1. Two planes left, we got the Frederick coming in, the Falkwolf 190A1, and see if we can pick up the kill on him. Uh, it is a 2-4 to four game right now, and we are just climbed, finally uh, got ahead of him. So, pick up the, Fa the Falkwolf, uh, he's going into the, oh, fuck me, uh, vertical, oh, shit. So, tight ass game, 750 to 735. There's one plane left who is a bomber, and I have absolutely no chance to actually do anything. So, I'm just going to fly up and see if I can start gaining altitude slowly but surely. As long as no other objective is turned right now, uh, we should win this. We're sitting so close to each other in points, uh, but I think we got her. Looking at my shot to shit plane, going, uh. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a one, it's still a one thumbs up plane, but sometimes with these energy fighters and whatnot, it is not an easy win. So, uh, one more game to go, and uh, we should uh, check it out. So, last game in the M20, and this is not good. I'm top tier. Unfortunately, though, we have a flight of OWSS on the other side. And they're all in tier sixes. And my other human pilot in this game, or not tier sixes, tier fives. And the other human pilot in my, is a tier four I-17. They're both in one's in a heavy and one is an energy fighter. Uh, this is neither and door. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. God, this is my luck. Um, I did three games in a row, and this was my one game where I'm just like, oh man. I had won the first two. This one, this one was not looking good from the start. So I get me up to about 2,000 meters. Kind of give you guys an idea. Like I said, this will go over 2,000 meters, but it is a big fat duck uh, at this altitude. 
However, um, I'm also kind of going to give one, try to give a whirl out here, try to shoot down some bombers with this thing. Uh, with these 8303s, if you can get within relatively easy distance. Now, I'm only talking running it against uh, uh, bots against this thing, uh, bot bombers. Human bombers will eat your shit, or they will stay up high enough that you have no chance in hell of ever, ever, ever getting up to that altitude. So, pick up on the DO-17. He's down here. You know, 1,800 meters, which is within this range of this of this uh, uh, aircraft. Um, pull in on him. Yeah, that's what 8303s do to uh, bombers. Pick up the next DO-17Z. Uh, finish him off. And we're trying to get the command center here. Now, I do have a, lots of planes with me. Uh, or at least a fair amount of planes here. So I'm going to drive down here, pick up the boomerang. Now, I've already got, this will be my third kill. Uh, somewhere along the lines, one of my <sighs> bot planes had crashed and had reset the, uh, yeah, had kind of reset the uh, objective, and we do, were not able to flip it right off the bat. And it's funny how quickly uh, just simply not being able to flip an objective uh, can decide the outcome of a match. So, backgrounds, I got incoming uh, light fighters, KI-43-1, oh uh, yeah, shit. They did it again. They've knocked down two planes now, and I can't kill these things fast enough uh, to try to make this work. That's about the time that Jed shows up. Jed's in the Phantom, uh, but he's not your typical bot. Um, he is playing that thing for all she's worth. Round and round we go, putting a few rounds into him every time. Um, I'm not going to win this. This is not a good deal. Biplanes, and typically on average, will outturn a monoplane. Um, so, yeah, back around we go, and I don't want to give him my back, but unfortunately there's so much fucking red in the center right here, it looked like a fucking blood clot. So, get the wing shot to shit. There's the BF-109 by a human pilot. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit on his rear. Unfortunately, the Phantom's also on my ass. And, of course, my tail's damaged, my wings are damaged. I'm not surprised, I guess. <laughs> not surprised at all so background we go I'm looking and they've kind of cleared off on me I'm not not terribly sure Elvin the bowfighter finishes off the BF-109 and I got Jed here and the Phantom I'm gonna you yeah you need to die so uh, they flipped the objective when I was streaming around for my life which leaves me in a pretty precarious position right now because all <laughs> fucking AA wants my shit God damn it. And there I go. I'm dead. <sighs> Goodness gracious. This isn't looking good for the home team. Uh, two to two. Uh, their two human pilots are working my uh, bots over pretty hard. So. Preparing to come back in. Yeah, there we go. And away we go. We got to center here. We need to get this objective back. Uh, with no... Human controlled heavy fighters, um, those bombing squadrons are just going to roll from one objective to the other uh, without being contested, and I don't have the speed to get over there to stop them. So, uh, down we go here. I need to get this objective turned somehow, some way. Pick up the boomerang coming through, and there we go. Finally, within range. Start putting some lead into him. Uh, and around and around he goes. Oh, come on, buddy. Finish him off. Unfortunately, at the same time, we had lost the plane. I pick up the BF-109E coming through. He is all over my heavy fighter. Now they've flipped her all the way back. And now i got to work that just that much harder. Stay on the BF-109. Come on. Oh, he's got so much energy on me right now. But, like I said, maneuverability on this thing is slightly less than a Spitfire, so I will eventually catch you. Ned, you're back again. No, I'm not going to get into that. I got the somewhat of an altitude advantage over him, so down we come. Uh, now I'm just going to see if I can pick him up before he decides that he needs to get more, once again back into a turn and burn with me. So around we go. Got the flaps extended. Slaw. Not quite finished. Back around we come. I got the A's all over my shit. Let's see if we can finish off Jed and hopefully start flipping this objective because it's starting to get it's starting to get ugly in here. 
Uh, they the 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 AA is getting so hard on me, <laughs> one way or another. So pick up the last boomerang. I need one more kill, I believe, to finish this off, uh, and and at least turn this objective. They're already up four one, and we don't get it with that one. That leaves me one more boomerang to take out, and uh, he's on one of my uh, light fighters. Uh, I can't lose another blue player. Otherwise, we are never going to take this objective. Pick him up the boomerang again. Still getting shit shot out of me because, you know, the uh, it's always amazing how much better boomerang or how much better the uh, AA and shit gets when you're almost ready to take it. Finally turn the command center uh, blue to blue, and we are down 441 to 303. So I'm thinking to myself, ah, this shouldn't be too bad, right? We got bombers up. And once again, like I said, we've we never had a human-controlled uh, heavy fighter or even an energy fighter uh, to deal with them bombers. I mean, yeah, I could eventually got over there, but even right now, if I headed over there, I would not have enough speed to get up and stay with the bombers. So yeah, that's that's the big downfall for this aircraft. Of course, is the speed and altitude performance. It just doesn't have it. Uh, so literally uh, point defense stay over objectives uh, keep objectives clean and if you have to like I said you can travel a little bit but uh, if you really want to put up some decent scores with this thing uh, you have to stay relatively close to uh, your, what you're going to be shooting at I got the Ulf 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 maybe DO-17Z up high uh, we'll see if we can pick him up here quick before uh, this game is over with. Uh, I've pretty much uh, come to the conclusion that this game was not going to be a winnable uh, at this point. Um, if we would have took that objective instead of losing it right off the bat, uh, this probably would have been an easy win for us. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we did not get it. Too many blue players died inside the objective as we were trying to take it. So pull a rack around here, see if I can pick up the uh, DO-17. He's taken off, and I'm not going to chase him. Pick up the A6M1. He's flying through here. He is AFK as fuck. Uh, let's see if I can pick up a... Nope. Nope. Don't get him. But, luckily enough, the DO-17Z has decided to turn around and, and fly right back into where I need him to be. Uh, pull in. 400 meters. You can just see some of the... Like I said, uh, even with this, the uh, fire hose, you're not going to get a lot of hits until you get right around that 300, 350 or under... Uh, range so um yeah not good not good at all 675 to 469 and i i brought the game up just to show you what this uh like i said i played three games in the plane and this is kind of uh more along the lines of what this thing could possibly do yeah it could get up high enough to deal with some bombers especially if they are bot controlled all right so i got the bf 109 se 100 I'm kind of hoping he's going to go turn and start playing with those bombers, and that leaves me a chance to get a uh, a chance to knock out this BF-109. So we make the first pass at each other, make the second pass at each other, uh, and this is now he's screwed. Uh, he cannot uh, get away from me. Uh, I don't think he has enough boost to go in the vertical, uh, and he doesn't quite have the speed to get away from me. However, so that leaves me a chance to at least try to finish him off. Um, you know, like I said, you can literally turn inside of him relatively relatively easy and he should be an easy kill till about that time uh, when my when his friendly neighborhood um, <laughs> his buddy comes back uh, to give him a hand so 9200 on the board 10,230 when I got done good game OWSS uh, that was a close one so that's the uh, M20 great little point defense fighter stick in the fur ball uh, yeah and win